Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory, So You Want to Be a Hero, the very first one. Well, we're here in Arana's Peace. You'll note that my score has gone up a few points since our last chapter. That's because I picked up the Dispel Potion, this nice rubber rainbow bottle thing here. And I also uh, finally tracked down Abdullah Du at the inn and was able to buy him a meal, which caused him to sing praises of how I was sure to be the greatest of heroes. And he told me the secret of his magic carpet, which is that it is in fact a flying carpet and only he knows the magic words to make it fly and how if I managed to retrieve his treasure from the bandits, he would gladly take me back to show me the wonders of Shapir and allow me to become the hero of his land, which also is apparently in need of a hero, but we will learn more about that in Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. Spoiler. So why am I at Arana's Peace? Well, I have also been working out rather heavily uh, over the past two days. In fact, you'll notice now, since it's approaching on day seven, we'd stayed up all night on day five, and uh, it would oddly enough not let me buy a in at uh, a room in a room at the inn at uh, on day six after I stayed up all night even though I should have been exhausted story of my life it said that I did not feel sleepy enough to get my room even though I was up all night which kind of ironic is I'm recording this at one in the morning because I don't feel sleepy yet but uh, I digress anyway reason why we are here. First, I can show you my stats. You can see my strength has gone up a bit. I almost have weapon use and dodge maxed out, thanks to my practicing fighting at the Goblin uh, Combat Range. Pick locks is almost maxed out. Climbing, I've improved a bit. It could be better, but I did spend an afternoon in-game uh, climbing the tree outside the Healer's Hut over and over and over. And you can see we've got agility and vitality maxed out. Intelligence. Not so much, but that one's kind of tricky to raise as a thief. And our luck is also almost maxed out. So I also came here because I wanted to sleep the night here. Because I know you get points for sleeping all night here as a wizard. I don't know if that's an all-class thing or not. And it would appear if it is not, we waken as the sun is beginning to rise on day 8. But I also elected to come here and spend the night to sleep here. Because our very first uh, step on the road to becoming a hero is, oddly enough, one screen east of Arana's Peace. And let me make sure first we're not going to get jumped by something, we are going to get attacked by something. As a cheetar, but thankfully I can easily handle this at this point. Didn't even get a scratch on me. So, we take some claws. And yeah, barely even broke a sweat, and now our weapon use is even better. Anyway, we'll go ahead and sneak just for the sake of form. So yeah, big ogre. And we can in fact outrun this ogre, he's so slow. Even sneaking we can outrun this guy, but you know what? Even though it is not the thief way, we will fight the ogre. That way, from a step forward. A search of the dead ogre's body produces no treasure. However, the treasure chest he was carrying lies beside his body. The dead ogre's huge club is much too heavy for you to lift. 
Alright, then let's take a look at the chest. The chest is a heavy lid with a very strong lock. Well, good thing I got a thief set. The lock on the ogre's chest clicks open. The dead ogre's chest contains one gold and 43 silver, which you take and put away. Rather minuscule treasure compared to what we have now, but you know what? I'll take it. So, that done, let us explore the cave. As your eyes adjust from sunlight to darkness, you examine the interior of this eerie cavern. You sense something moving off to your right. On one side of this cavern is a creature which looks like a large bear. There is something attached to his leg. That uh, appears to be a chain. That's the most detail we're going to get. There you know. You have made this bear very happy. It would be wise to take advantage of his current mood. The pair appears docile for the time being. Try as you might, you can't pick the lock. It must be magical. This section of cave has an eerie quality. You see a kobold resting on the ledge across from you. Yeah, we are totally going to sneak, sneak, sneak. The strange creature is dressed in ragged clothes. It has large pale eyes. It must have spent its entire life in these caves. A large brass key hangs from a thong around the creature's neck. Can't reach the key from there. Okay. Very carefully, you remove the key from around the kobold's neck. Pick up the kobold's mushrooms and put them in its pack. This part of the cavern is spacious and multi-level. Phosphorus and fungus illuminates the cavern with an unearthly glow. On a rocky platform above the cave floor is a kobold, one of the race of ugly, miserly creatures known for their skill and magic. And yeah, we cannot see it here. Because it's invisible, but the kobold actually has a magic chest which is a thief we can break into if we can find it. But I think first... It would behoove us to uh, do something with the magic key and the magic lock. The kobold's key disappears as you turn it in the lock. You have the honor of meeting the Baronet Bernard von Spielberg. We are pleased that you broke our enchantment. Perhaps our father the Baron will reward you should you ever visit our castle. The arrogance of the Baronet astonishes you. Perchance the Cobalt Magic user had a reason for changing him into a bear. And yeah, before I go mess around any further in this cave... Go ahead and save. You open, open the chest first. It seems to be locked. Well. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. No point in trying to use that here. You remain amazed at the number and versatility of the little gimm cracks and thingamabobs inside your fuse toolkit. Okay. You hear a very satisfying snick as the pick catches the lock just right. Then you sense powerful magic dissipating around the lock, and your handshake as you realize you have somehow narrowly avoided some sort of magical doom. Doom! You add 10 gold and 60 silver coins to your money pouch. We are just that good. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so remember that prophecy that uh, Erasmus gave us about how to counter the curse on the Baron? Come a hero from the east, free the man from in the beast. Well, we came from the east, and we have freed the man who is trapped in the form of a beast. And the rest of it was, of course, free the child from out the band, drive the cursor from the land. And, of course, the big problem everybody is worried about is the bandits. Which, what do you call a group of bandits? Well, that would be a band, so we will need to go and deal with the bandits next. But first, it's still being early in the day. And because I promised, and because we have just enough, combat uh, skill left to raise to make it worth the trouble. I think I'm going to go ahead and show you a 8 on 1 goblin fight. And it's something we're talking about my animation because it seems like I'm moving way slower than I did before. All right. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, once you get into a rhythm, these guys are pretty easy. to the last two. And this will probably max our fighting skill. And from here, I'm just going to keep dodging until I'm almost out of stamina. Oh, and I finally did get the uh, run from battle to work. Finally drew blood. And that still didn't seem to hurt me all that much. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dead goblins. Ah, ah, ah. And this guy lost all his dough to a loan shark. You find four silvers tucked in his tunic. He has no more use for silvers anymore, so into your pocket they go. This poor slob is the biggest loser at the poker game. He didn't even have lunch money. In this goblin's left shoe, you find eight silvers. You look around and slip the silvers into your pocket. Which is odd, as none of them seem to be wearing shoes. It's your lucky day. This was the big winner at last night's poker game. You take his 35 silvers. You find five silvers concealed in the pouch. You take the silvers. The goblin government lost his paycheck. Clutch in his hand are four silvers. You take the money. So after that... Yep, our weapon use and our dodge are both now maxed out at 100. So between agility, vitality, stealth, and throwing, uh, we have most of our skills maxed out. So we are in more of a good enough shape to 
taking on the end of the game. At this point, trying to raise the rest of his stats would be tedious, busy work. And uh, in case you're curious how much money we've got at this point, I'm sitting on 89 gold pieces, 393 silver. But wait, we're about to get more. And just for the heck of it, see if it will let me do it this time. The mushrooms from the fairy ring are pretty good, or so you hear. However, when they're mixed with kobold to toadstools, that's a horse of a different color. You eat some of the kobold's fungus, but in seconds your insides feel like you're on fire. Guess you're not a kobold, huh? You think that you'd better take it easy for a while until you recover. Because, yeah, that uh, totally took our health down. But Heinrich is happy to see us. He usually is. First of all, we'll see if she'll take the cobalt mushrooms. Thank you, but I have enough mushrooms. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and drop these then. Okay, so we sold off all of our flasks. Uh, okay, so after that, so we got five healing, three vigor, and we now have 89 gold, 445. Come in, come in. You've been expected. Baron von Spielberg awaits you in the castle. Yes. yes, apparently a hero's welcome, but first, we're going to clean the stables. Why? Because if I'm going to go before the Baron, I want the smell of sweat and horseshit. And that did raise our strength.
Sir Baron von Spiegelberg and the Baronet await you in the Great Hall. I think the game just froze up because I was in the middle of running. And you're supposed to walk in. Okay, well, you know what, let's, uh, let's try that again, minus the trip to the healer first. See if maybe this time we can get it to load. Swordmaster Sprite takes up more space than you'd think. Okay, so. Now, we will see. If I can just walk in to the Great Hall. After this splendid fanfare. Okay, now it loads. Words cannot express the gratitude I have towards you. Not only have you freed the baronet from enchantment and allowed my son to return to me, but you have renewed my hope that the curse may be lifted. My son, baronet Bernard von Spielberg, also desires to acknowledge his indebtedness. Bernard, we, uh, well, that is, I am appreciative of upon your efforts upon my behalf. I sincerely hope that you will continue your valiant adventures in our land. If anyone can rend the land of brigands, it will be you. Someday in the near future, I can envision holding a ceremony in your honor and bestowing upon you the title Hero of Spielberg. Bernard? It would be nice if somebody could finally defeat the brigands and claim the title. After you leave the castle tomorrow, you will receive the reward money I posted for the safe return of my son as a token of my thanks. You will, of course, be expected to dine with us and be our guest in the castle tonight. Do you have any questions? Well, ask about the castle. This castle has been in the family for two centuries now, as a gift from King Siegfried III. Ask about the Baron. I am Stefan von Spielberg, 12th Baron of Spielberg Castle. Ask about the brigands. If I had more guards, I would wipe the brigands out myself, now that I have my son at my side. It will take some time before this castle and land have recovered before my sor uh, recover from my sorrow, so I still think it will take a hero to destroy the brigands. I know they have some sort of fortress to the south of the valley, I have heard rumors that they set up an ambush for all that approach. It is also rumored that there is another way into their fortress, but I have no further knowledge about it. Yeah, let's ask about the kobold. I rode off one morning with my men in search of monsters to fight. I got separated from my men, and when I came across the entrance to the cave, as I entered, the kobold ordered me to get out. I informed it that I was Baronet Bernard von Spielberg and heir to the lands of all within. I ordered it to bow before me. Then it casts a spell upon me. I remember very little after that. Uh, let's get back to the reward. I have offered substantial rewards for the return of my son and my daughter as well, as for the leader of the, and warlock of the brigands. Uh, brigand leader. They have always been brigands around, but until the leader and the warlock showed up a few years ago, they were not so much of a problem. The leader seems to be a brilliant strategist who manages each raid with little loss. Once the leader is gone, I am sure the brigands can be easily defeated. And warlock. As if this valley has been played with enough evil magic users. From what I've heard, this magic isn't very powerful, but it is used effectively. And ask about the curse. 
Some years back, I tried to force the ogress Baba Yaga to leave our valley, and she's put a curse upon me that I should lose everything I hold dear. When I lost my daughter and my son, I lost all interest in living. My land suffered because I suffered. Now, though, with the return of my son, I trust the prophecy is about to come true, thanks to you. Yeah, it's about Baba Yaga. I have attempted everything in my power to get her to go away. I fear it will take some kind of magic to be able to counteract her magic. Uh, daughter. My beautiful little daughter was stolen away ten years ago by Baba Yaga's magic. She has never been found, despite all the searching that has been done for her. I thought she was lost forever, but you have renewed my hope that I will again have her beside me. And that's for York. York was my court jester, a man of infinite jest. But he went off to find my daughter, but alas, poor York never returned. And magic. I know very little about magic, much to my sorrow. Perhaps you should talk to the wizard Zara in town, or Rasmus on Zabberberg. And prophecy. The prophecy states, Come a hero from the east, free the man from in the beast, bring the child from out the band, drive the cursor from the land. You entered here from the east, and you rescued my son from the form of a bear. I am certain you can fulfill the rest of it and remove this deadly curse. And I believe that covers everything for the baron. Baronet. Bear. I would prefer not to talk about that. Uh, brigands. I will soon lead the troops against the brigands and wipe them out from this land. And Baronet. I am the Baronet Barnard von Spielberg, heir to the lands and all within. And yeah, nothing useful there. The Great Hall of Spielberg Castle is not very impressive. The room is plain with scuffed floor and grimy plastered walls. Well, I was trying to look at the guards. The guards stand stiffly at attention. The tapestry on the back wall seems to depict some great battle of the past. A roast pig waits on the sideboard to be your supper. A wine of the rarest vintage from Razir stands ready for dinner. Yeah, Razir will be a city that we'll see in the next game. The, yeah, the table's prepared for dinner. Do you have timing or what? This couch must be a precious heirloom. Why else would the Baron keep such an uncomfortable looking piece of furniture around? The Von Spielberg coat of arms. Twin Saurus guarding winged chevron on a field azure. Filled to overflowing. And yeah, not much else to do except turn around and... A servant is waiting to show you outside. Uh, servant... Ah. A servant is waiting outside to show you to your quarters. We will see you at supper later. But supper's right there now. After a wonderful meal with the Baron and his son, a peaceful night's sleep in a feather-down bed, and a filling breakfast in bed, you're ready to go adventuring once more. Which, you know, going adventuring once more, you know what that means. Yep. Time to shovel more horse poop. that done. Our intelligence went up from that. I'm not sure how. Well, believe it or not, I think we are ready to win the game, and we might be able to get it all done in just one chapter next time. So I'm going to go see the healer one last time, cash in all of the stuff that I just dropped off, and uh, next time, I think we'll stop after that, and we will get ready to win this game.